the question is now, will Tuan Van Gen defend his title or will it go to somebody new this year? Yeah, Vincent pelliard has been looking incredibly strong tonight. Connor Fields has been explosive. Resende's looked stellar. Ramirez has been consistent. Doris Dodez had some great starts yeah. as well. So each one of these guys can throw their name in looking for that championship. But right now we're going to start out with number 500 from Brazil. One of the yep. most impressive riders of the 2013 BMX race season, Renato Resende. Next to him, from the United States of America, current world champion in the UCI BMX Supercross time trial field, doing it for Chase Bicycles, Connor Fields. And the starts that he's had, you might have to be chasing him to get anywhere. Right, and another guy chasing him is going to be that French national champion in the elite men, Vincent Helluard. Next to him is the youngest rider in the main event. That's going to be Carlos Ramirez from Colombia. One of three riders. I'm going to throw in a self-promotion plug. One of three riders on the Chase BMX bike tonight. Ah. Uh, three of the six finalists. That's pretty impressive. Next to him, Tuan Von Gent. With his funky finger. With his hand that looked like he had a pocket where his knuckle went the other day. Had it stitched, rode, the stitches popped out, and he's back up there. And right here, one of the fastest guys right now, past world champion in the UCI elite men, Joris Adode from France, loaded up, doing it for Red Bull and GT Bicycles. Right now, he wants to do it for that Revolution Championship. We will see as the Race gate is loaded for we go. the main event. The Connor Fields oh! has the lead. He gets that first jump perfect, soaks up that roller fine, and a little bit of a crash right now is going to keep him out front if things go his way. But Connor Fields gets over that jump. Resende's in that second place spot, and it looks like it's going to be Helluard in third. But right now, Connor Fields from the United States of America has that lead here at the Red Bull Revolution 2013. He's got his way through the jump line, and right now things are going his way. He's just got one more turn to go around. Resende from Brazil in that second place spot, but it's going to be Chase Bicycles from the United States of America doing a funky one-hander over the finish line. Connor ah. Field with the win over Renato Resende and Vincent Pelluard from Connor France Fields. in that third place spot. What a fantastic finish for Connor Fields, and boy, I tell you, there was quite the garage sale on the course there with three riders going down all at once after that roller. Yeah, as they try and get their way back into yeah, it looks uh, like Tuan Von Gent, here. Tuan Von Gent, Dode, and Ramirez all went down. They're still bailing out because there's a lot of money on the line for these riders in this main event. But the most money was won by the United States of America's Connor Fields. And there you go. There's the guys finishing up on that lap. Vincent Pelliard with that third place finish. And Ramirez coming across that line. That was incredible, absolutely incredible race by Connor Fields. He didn't have the explosive start that we thought he would, but boy, did he ever fly over that big jump. Yeah, his fourth and fifth pedals were just insane. He got out, he sucked up that jump, and you see what Tuan Von Gent was trying to do. He sucked up that roller. Unfortunately, it looks like his back wheel clipped it right here, and that threw him over the bars, and that gave Connor a little bit of a cushion, but Resende was really making a charge for it. Connor's been floating up this step jump all night. And that's what, you know, one of the areas where I thought people would catch up to him if he was out in the lead, but right there, nobody was catching him. As you see, Connor Field flows through the jump section and he gets his way to be the winner. Look at that style over the big GoPro jump section of the track. But Connor Fields- Yeah, nicely done. Sideways Saturday <laughs> for Connor Fields as he goes through the Red Bull Revolution. He needs to work on his one-handers a little bit. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? That fist pump wasn't quite where it was, should be. But and I tell you what, I don't think he cares right at this point. He is the winner of the Red Bull Revolution 2013. So there you have it from the United States of America doing it for the fans all across the world. It's going to be Connor Fields with the win tonight here. Um, how you feel? I feel great. First place. 
So make some noise for him. Gonna what? So there you have it. Connor Fields takes it away, but we got a little bit to do here. We still have the awards ceremony, and of course, your voting out there made the decision for our 55 DSL Rebel of the Day Award, and uh, that is probably going to be, in fact, it is going to be the first thing that we're going to dispense here this evening, so we'll find out who took that one. There is the final results for our main event here, Connor Fields taking the top spot, Resende and Pelluard second and third places. So we have a new Red Bull Revolution champion two years in a row, two different champions. That says a lot about the future of the sport here at the Mellow Park and uh, perhaps the expansion of this particular format to a larger audience and uh, maybe happening a little bit more often. Yeah, you saw Chuan Von again. He knew what it was like to taste the victory here in the Mellow Park. He was doing it.